Danny Kitchen loves to climb, play that costs his parents nothing. His activities at the weekend, however, didn't come so cheap. We were all a bit distracted and Danny came over to Greg and handed him the iPad and said, is it possible for you to put in the code? And he said, no. And he said, please, Dad, it's a free app. So quite distracted, he took the iPad away, put the code in and handed it back to him. While Sharon and Greg were busy, Danny was unintentionally spending hundreds of pounds on iTunes, buying extra software to help play a computer game. I just clicked on it because it said it was free and then I gave it to Dad and then he put the password in and then the next day it costed the money. And you didn't realise you'd spent so much money? I was so shocked that I just looked over at him and I said, Danny, I can't believe, how have you managed to do this? And my eldest daughter turned around and said, Danny, we could have bought a house with that. And his, he realised then the severity of it and started to cry. Apple says all iPads and iPhones have parental controls, giving parents the option to turn off the purchasing function. But Sharon says lots of parents she knows have had similar if less costly experiences. I think it's a, a learning curve for, for everybody to, to realise how easy it can be done um, because we might not have been so lucky to get our money back. This morning, Sharon and Greg were told iTunes will refund their money. As for Danny, he won't be using the iPad unsupervised again for some time. Madeline Ware, BBC Points West, Bristol.